also, Steve, you're, you're standing there in front of the All America survey, big, big graphic. So tell us what you're seeing from from Americans right now. We are seeing, Sarah, the CNBC All America Economic Survey finding a modest blip up in economic optimism, though compared to the survey's long run averages, attitudes are still pretty dismal. Take a look here uh, on what we have when we ask people, how's the economy? Well, in the prior survey, 14% said it was excellent and good. Now that's up six points to 20%. And then those who are saying it's out there are poor coming down six points. But don't get too excited because this number, long run average, probably double. And this number, long run average, about half. So we still have a long way to go to get back to normal feelings. How about the, will the economy get better? The outlook here, again, a blip up in optimism here. But this is below uh, long run averages. Stay the same uh, a little bit more. And then a decline in those about 10 points of those who think it will get worse. Pretty across the board, Democrats, uh, uh, independents as well. Some movement in Republicans. And then one other good thing. Um, oh, it's over here. Those who say their home value would increase 44 percent, that's about normal now. So that kind of goes along with this data we've seen on the bottoming of the housing. There's still inflation is a big concern out there. And it's a place where America is actually united in hating or being concerned about inflation. We asked what the top issue is, and 30 percent of Americans say it's the cost of living. And then you can see here it's 30 percent of Democrats and Republicans and 31 percent of independents. The next issues are all half in terms of how much concern there is. Threats to democracy, a big one for Democrats. Immigration, border security, big for Republicans. Independents care a lot about health care. And then kind of this uh, uh, grouping down here, 7, 9, 10 percent say crime is the biggest issue in the country. All of this bit of optimism blipping up into the stock market views here. And you can see that there has been a blip up in whether or not people think it's a good time to invest. It's got to come all the way over here. 33 percent up from 24 percent of the prior quarter said it's a good time to invest. Down a little bit in bad time. But again, come over here before the pandemic and you got to find these are more normal averages. People generally are upbeat or a little, little more even on this. Right now, if you go back the other way here, you can see we're still net negative on views on the stock market. Mr. Faber.